Hey there and welcome to this AFK journey video. So I just released a hero focus guide and advices video for the free to pay players and then I realized that I actually wanted to do the biggest mistakes for free to pay players for a really long time. It's just that um, I clearly forgot about it with all the other priorities in terms of contents. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the top five biggest mistakes as a free to pay player that you want to avoid as you're playing through the game itself. So for this um, video or rather for this uh, mistake, I'll employ my own free to pay account to talk about the different pointers I want to prove. And here, as you guys can see, we have the Rowan seal of approval, zero dollars spent yet. So I didn't get the Rowan package. So let's start with the very first point, And that is to not invest in CCR. Okay, so this uh, CCR joke is getting a little bit out of hand, but <laughs> so for the very first point that I want to talk about, it's not not investing in CCR, right? The very first point I want to talk about is not over committing your resources into units which are generally not really good in the late game or units which you don't intend to use in the late game. Aka units which are just not as powerful. So the reason why you don't want to do this is because like I mentioned multiple times, as a free to play player, you just don't have a lot of resources, right? You mainly get your resources from within the game itself, from all the quests, side quests, main quests, all the chests inside the map as well as your AFK challenge rewards and these resources might seem like an abundance in the earlier stages as you're pushing through all these challenges as you're clearing the story but as you guys can see from where I am right now when you're pretty much done with the game your only few like resources left on the map are from all your dailies right from the events or even freebies that the game has to offer for you so whatever resource that you put into a unit is basically going to be with the unit for a very long time and if you're putting it into a unit which you don't intend to use in the long run or a unit which is just not very powerful in the late game you are pretty much disadvantaging yourself right this is from a free to play account perspective as you guys can see even for this free to play ptr account which has been around for quite a few months I don't get a lot of units to Supreme Plus. So if you guys do intend to push your CCR to Supreme Plus, right, then that will be all your resources stuck in that unit. And that's why I have always been recommending or advocating free to pay players to not overcommit on CCR. Depending on how much you have invested in her, I will encourage you to stop there as long as you can push through contents because there are just better units out there that help you push through contents faster or is just generally more useful in the late game. So that's tip number one. Don't overcommit on units you don't intend to use or overcommit on units which are just generally not really good in the late game. However, let me clarify this. If you already have her invested, I'm not going to invalidate your point that she's a bad unit, but it's just that personally, she really isn't very good in the late game. So next, let's move on to point number two. Okay, so for point number two, right, it's actually with regards to hero diversity. So personally, as somebody who has been playing the game on this free to play account for a long time, I'll say the very first thing that free to play players should always focus on is with regards to their um dream realm contents because dream realm is a daily content where you get more resources to upgrade so focusing on dream realm units first and then subsequently putting some emphasis on the pvp unit is gonna benefit your account more as a free to play player so in case you guys don't get what i mean i'll say that let's put it this way so when i first started building this account i put resources into units which help me push through contents so my account initially looks like this right heroin over here and then i had the i'll say like a light bringer call for example so this is how the account started and the reason why i went for this is because i needed heroin as well as corin for the dream realm side and i needed granny as well as heroin for the pve content pushing side so in terms of the direction that i went for is i focused more towards the dream realm side for me to get all the daily resources for me to get the better ranks and then once i have a stable source of income for my essence as well as my fragments as a free to play player i started to put in resources into my pvp centric characters aka iron Arden as well as uh, units like Scarita and also units like Sylvina. So I think you must have a clear sense of direction as to how you want to plan your account. I'll say uh, progression is key. Like I mentioned multiple times, it's important, but it's not so important as to you need to overcommit into units that are just broken for progression. You should have a clear sense of direction in terms of building up your account as a free to play player. If you're somebody who focuses more towards the PvP side of things, you just like to break other people's formation, then putting your resources into these uh, units that are good for PvP 
uh, centric contents is the way to go so for those of you guys who are not sure which you need to invest in i have a whole slew of tier list for the different game modes that are available on the channel you guys can just search for the tier list and you guys pretty much can see the different tier lists that are already running on the channel so on those tier lists i explain why certain units are better for certain game modes and i talked about the dream realm end game tier list as well as i included all the information in the guide video so if you guys haven't seen it go and visit it but when you talk about building up your units i think having diversity is important but at the same time you kind of want to focus on a certain game mode first and once you get a steady ranking once you get a steady income of resources then you can commit and transit into the other one but i would say at the end state for free to play account you kind of want to have an account that can both do uh pv contents as well as pvp contents equally well because the resources on both sides are also quite important in a sense they are very useful in the late game for arena side you get your arena coins which is used for stellar crystals as well as s level hero shards which is really good in the long run and for the dream round side you get temporal essence tidal essence as well as dream fragments so finding a good balance between balancing your account for the game modes is very important in the long run as a free-to-play player okay so next point is with regards to the ex weapon so this uh, especially applies to the f2p player because for the ex weapon per se i think the most rare one is actually your temporal essence this one over here as you guys can see so you can actually get, only get this from all the legends trial trial of abyss um from dream realm from your guild chest so this resource is definitely in the greater scarcity outside of the twilight essence itself and this is more important than twilight essence because these uh, stones affect the EX weapon skill, which can greatly increase the power level of your unit. So I'll say personally, as a free-to-play player, um, the usage of these stones should always be on units that you're using a lot, so you get the greatest value out of it. It all goes back to point, uh, point number one about your resource management, because whatever resource right that you put in a unit to upgrade a unit to a specific tier, to upgrade the EX weapon of a specific unit, right, it stays on the unit. So as a free to play player, invest in units which you are using a lot, or you think you'll be using a lot, or it's going to remain relevant for a really long time. So case in point, I will, let's say, use OD for example. Right, so for OD's case, this unit is decently powerful with the EX weapon level 10 with the 600 in energy do i need him at ex15 he is definitely a good unit to ex15 but right now i don't see a use and i don't use him as much unless in arena in very niche situations so i don't bother upgrading him so depending on your account right you can choose whether or not to upgrade the ex weapon further i think the biggest hurdle is actually from ex11 to ex15 because that costs a lot of temporal essence and as a free to play player it's actually quite a lot so another point that I have for free to play players, which was mentioned in my EX weapon video, is that for most free to play players, most units should be just at EX10 because the cost of EX10 is only about 70 plus temporal essence, but for EX15 to EX, uh, I mean from EX11 to EX15 is 200 plus, which is three times the amount. So the same amount of temporal essence that you put to upgrade a unit's EX weapon to EX15 could be used to upgrade three other units ex weapon to ex10 so you want but diversity like i mentioned in point number two so that's why i encourage most free to play players to just stop at ex10 however there are certain situations where this unit just sees a lot of use and is probably the main carrier of your team then i will just use it on units like this for example merrily in fact i think for most free to play players i think ex15 or merrily is definitely a good investment because this unit probably won't fall off, at least based on what I observed. She just does so much damage that she will remain relevant for Dream Realm for a long time. So if you guys do decide to commit to EX15, the two units of choice, number one will be OD and number two will be Merrily. That's for the free to play players, okay? So that's for the EX weapon side. So for some units, right, they actually recommend or rather i did recommend you guys to keep it to plus eight but i mentioned before i think personally it's a personal preference because like i mentioned for kruger's case kruger is definitely a plus eight recommendation but uh for the longest time possible i realized that i've just been fielding kruger for my dream realm every single day so i decided to just upgrade you to plus 10 because why not because as long as i'm putting my resources into use i see value in it I invest in the unit so that's for the ex weapon side so another case which i can show you guys is my carolina so carolina is an insanely good supreme plus unit but right now i don't have like a 
I'll say like the best comp to fill her in arena because my torrent is not fully built up yet, right? So my torrent is over here. So he's not fully built up to Supreme Plus yet. So I'm not upgrading her EX weapon because as you guys can see as a free to play account, your title essence is not as much as a spender. So you can't really just toss your resources anyhow. So you got to plan out the weapon usage even for EX0 to EX5 itself. So for Carolina's case, I'll definitely upgrade her once I have the team for her because I want to start using her for arena purposes. All right, now because she's not seeing any use, I decide to put her upgrade on hold and then use the resources on other units which I'm going to use or which I am already using on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's for the EX weapon usage. So it's kind of got to like plan the resource usage out. If you don't use the unit a lot or if you use the unit for very niche situations and the unit functions as it is at a low EX weapon tier, then plus five is more than enough, right? For more information for the EX weapon guide, do visit the EX weapon guide video released yesterday. I'll link it in the description down below, comment section, so you guys can click on it in case you guys haven't seen it. So that's for the EX weapon part, and that is for the EX weapon management part for free-to-play players. Okay, point number four is going to be like um, one of the most un unhinged point ever. It's like a reality check kind of thing, right? So uh, this especially m applies more so to free-to-play players because um, this game is a game where there's some sort of PvP elements. And honestly speaking, if you're in a uber competitive server where your ranking is really bad, where you can't get like good rewards across all the game modes in terms of Dream Realm, in terms of Arena, like I'll say at least the bare minimum top 100 for free to play players, right? Or even at least this 101 to 200 for free to play players. I think it's time for you guys to change server because this is a daily reward. So every single day that you're missing out on these resources is quite a hit on your account in the long run. As much as you guys don't see it, like I think two to three months down the road, you guys will realize that, hey, I got my unit up to EX5 and then I don't have enough temporal essence to upgrade the EX weapon to EX10. And then you guys start to realize the problem. So for free to play players, I think like I'll say like matching to the pace of your server, getting a decent rank for this game mode is quite important, right? Dream Realm, Arena as well. I think Arena is also really, really important. So we have Arena. Right, Arena has these uh, victory rewards. Arena has these uh, ranking rewards as well. I think at least getting into champion rank top 200 to unlock the Stellar Crystals is also quite important. So if you know you can't pace with your server, if your server is way too competitive for yourself, and if there's just way too many spenders for you to even compete, and you as a free to play player feel very suffocated because in all these multiplayer contents where there are rewards involved, you can't compete, then feel free to switch the server, right? I see this game as a safe file as you guys can see like multiple accounts and honestly speaking i don't mind just switching a server right? unless you have friends that you are already playing with like each account that you create is basically just a different save file that you're looking at and then if you find an account where you can get a decent placement as a free player i think at least top 100 or top 100 to top 200 rank that is pretty decent right in terms of rankings across the board for different contents so that is a benchmark for free to play players feel free to just switch servers if it's really very suffocating to play what's more important is enjoying the game progress and if you're able to power your unit as a free to play player see your account becoming stronger see your numbers increase over time that's also another way to enjoy the game as a free to play player okay so we have come to the last error or mistakes to avoid and the last error of mistakes to avoid is to rush into using your resources. So I think you guys realize by now, I've always been talking about resources, 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 because fundamentally AFK Journey to me is a resource management game. So the final pointer is about just being patient with your resource usage because um, a lot of things as well as units, as well as strategies, as well as builds, they require some time to test out and um it's not an easy process right it's easy for people to make a video and tell you this unit is op and then you as a free to play player just be living into those kind of pointers just because oh the guy has more resources than you just remember this right as a free to play player you just don't have that much resources compared to the whales you just don't have that much resources compared to the spenders in the game so you're not gonna spend how they you're not gonna spend like how they spend right you got to spend based on what you have even for light spenders if you guys don't have a lot of money you're not getting way more resources anyway so this point also applies to those light spenders because simply put right if you put your resources into the wrong stuff that's pretty much it there's no way you can reset it and since you're a free to pay player even if they do decide to sell an item which resets the progress of a unit or 
reset something that you make a mistake for you're gonna, not gonna buy it right so you guys whatever you put in is whatever you'll get and that's why being patient in this game in terms of resource management is really important so that's it that's it the top five biggest mistakes to avoid as a free to play player hopefully it's not too late for some of you guys and if it's too late no worries you guys can just restart a new save file in the new server thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe to see more and i'll see you guys again in my next afk journey video bye guys